Hello and welcome to Whiskey Resource. My name is Mark and you're back for another whiskey review of the Speyside Whiskey Month for April. I'll be doing another review of a sample that has been kindly provided by Lee of Budget Drams. Um, Lee has kindly sent me, um, it was an unexpected um, dram swap, and he sent me this one which is the Glenfiddich Firing Cane Experimental Series. This is from the Experimental Series number 4 which is the most recent one. This is a bottle that is 43% ABV. It is chill filtered and it has been colour adjusted, although it is quite pale. You can find this online um, from various retail stores. Um, the prices are uh, the Whiskey Exchange at £38.95. They currently have a discount at that price. Uh, I think it's because everybody seems to be offering the same price at the minute. Uh, Masters of Malt at £38.94 and the House of Malt at £39.50, giving an average price of £39.13. Um, so, all told, looking at those stats, it gets a value score of 80.22. This is a non-age statement whiskey, so that's, that's why it's got such a low value score. Um, nearly £40, pounds, um, it's quite a bit of money, but I have had this before. Um, uh, I was in York, for a weekend away and I tried it in a pub and from what I remember I quite enjoyed it. So the firing cane. Fire refers to the fact that it is um, peated malt. So back in 2003 um, Glenfiddich um, particularly I think that's the name of the dude. There's always a dude. What's the name of the dude? I can't see the name of the dude now. Brian Kinsman. Master's Distiller at Glenfiddich. Back in 2003, he was experimenting with uh, the first peated spirit of the Glenfiddich stills. So that's the, the fire part. The cane part refers to the fact that, well, this is uh, matured in ex bourbon barrels, but then finished in what they say is Latin rum, um, being cane sugar. So that's where it gets the cane part from. So it's uh, bourbon matured, rum finished, um, a balance of Peated and the unpeated um, Glenfiddich spirit. So what I remember of this is that it's sweet, it's toffied, and it's got a lovely sweet peat element to it as well. But that's that's coming from memory. So we'll see what what it's all about on the nose. So there's a sugary sweetness coming from here, and there is a smoky peaty element it's it's a nicer smoke than we were getting on the altar barn that i reviewed the other week and it's a bit sweeter than the ben romac 10 it's It, citrus fruit definitely is popping up there, but there's not not an awful lot more. So toffee. So it's a sweet sugar um, smell. There's toffee. There's citrus fruits. There's vanilla, and there's a lovely smoke element running through it as well. Peat. No, it's more smoke. There's both, but I think the small smoke probably has it. Okay, now on to the palette. Cheers. So it's fruity with citrus. Mainly lemon. Probably a touch of lime and grapefruit there's vanilla and there's toffee it starts sweet peat that starts to move through to smoke then oak and bitterness a little bit of spice starts popping up on the mid palate as that oak and the smoke builds 
The smoke is it's burned paper. It's a wood fire, burned paper, an open fire. And you're getting bits of paper that you've thrown on the fire. Um, that's turned ash, just billowing up. The bitterness at the finish. You're getting touch of toffee in there as well. Sugar. Would I say that it's a rum finish? There's definitely something different about it. getting the typical apple and pears those delicate apple and, apple and pears that you would get from a Glenfiddich 12 let's say this is an all together different animal I'm just trying to work out whether or not Yeah, I'm getting a, a kind of a polish, like a, a, a furniture polish type of note coming through there, a bit of oil, furniture polish, household cleaner, definitely something, something coming through there on the, on, on the finish. And bizarrely, it's not unpleasant. But this is too far removed from the Glenfiddich that we kind of love. I can't remember if I said it at the beginning of the video now, but this is a sample that was sent by um, Lee of Budget Drams. I think I probably did. It's late. I'm tired. Would I buy this? I remember when I tried it in York, I thought it was nice, but then I was a bit, a bit merry. Um, and it kind of made the evening, well, it was the kind of the end of the evening, it made the evening complete, really, trying a whiskey that I'd not tried previously. I have seen it on some shelves a few times, so I'd be tempted to buy it. But I haven't yet com committed to buying a Glenfiddich whiskey. Other than miniatures. I'm just deciding in my own head. Whether or not £40. There, thereabouts. Is worth it for this. Does it provide anything different. To the other two whiskies. That I've just reviewed. That are sp smoky space ciders. And I think of the three. The Ben Romick 10 is the best of the lot. Yeah, I think I prefer the Ben Romack. I wouldn't buy this one, unfortunately. I think I'd probably, for the price, I'd stick with the 15 year old. Or to be honest, I'd buy the 12 and I'd buy some chocolate or something. It's not terrible. It's not an, it's not a beginner whiskey at all. It's an intermediate. I think if you've been enjoying the Glenfiddich 12 or the Glenfiddich 15, then you're not going to get those classical Glenfiddich notes in this. It's going to be a bit of a shock. It's It doesn't bring through enough of the fruit flavors that you would expect it to. And I think if some of those strong apples and pears we're, we're coming through more as a, um, a stewed cinnamon pie, let's say, with a smoky element, then it would be gorgeous. But I think it just lacks it. And I'm going to end this video before that fan starts irritating us. So, um, later.